We're flying over the high Andes of northern Chile, where something unexpected hides in plain view. Giant stone funnels and long walls that form huge animal traps. From the air you can trace their V-shaped arms running for more than 100 meters down the slopes, narrowing into stone pens with a sudden drop at the end. These mega traps were built by ancient hunter herders to funnel game into kill zones at altitude. Archaeologists call them chacus, and in this part of Chile they were probably used to capture wild vicuñas, cousins of today's alpacas, at nearly 12,000 feet above sea level. They show that hunting and herding persisted far longer than we thought, even as farms took hold nearby. Some of these installations may go back around 6,000 years, yet evidence suggests hunters were still using the system into the colonial era, long after agriculture had become dominant in the valleys below. By mapping hundreds of these features from space, archaeologists are rewriting how we see early Andean lifeways. Not simply a switch to farming, but a complex mix of strategies.